First of all, it's a good football team. I think they're going to win eight, nine, ten games this year. The North Dakota outfit, they're, they're tough, they're well coached, and they play hard. And so uh, that's a, I think they're going to have a, another nice season over there. Uh, as far as us, offensively, kind of a mixed bag. We did some good things, but far too many penalties. Far too many penalties overall as a team, but most of those coming on the offense. Uh, ball security is not good, carrying the ball loose. You know, we didn't put it on the ground, but it's a it's a fumble waiting to happen if we don't get that corrected. Um, but, uh, you know, we moved the ball 500 yards of offense. We were pretty balanced. Uh, Zach Moss did a nice job tonight, went over 100 yards. Darren Carrington is as advertised. He's a heck of a receiver. Uh, Tyler's obviously Tyler's favorite target tonight. I think he had 10 catches for, for well over 100 yards. Uh, defensively, some real good things, some uh, not so good things as well. You know, we. We're known for uh, sacks and takeaways, and we only got one of each tonight, so that's, that's got to change. we gotta, we got to be better on defense at uh, those havoc plays is what we call them, and, and uh, you know, that's our M.O. That's what we've done for a lot of years is, is uh, take the ball away and, and sack the quarterback. Uh, came off coverage a couple times on defense. It hurt us. That's the one touchdown they got when we came off coverage one of the couple times, and can't do that. Much man coverage as we play, we got to stay on coverage and uh, blast you when that quarterback scrambles around. And the play extends, we got to stay on coverage. So uh, that wasn't good. Uh, bright spot on special teams, Matt Gay. You know, we started off with Jaden Johnson, uh, missed the first kick, so we gave Matt an opportunity. He came in and was perfect, three field goals, I believe three PATs. And so proud of that unit. Uh, punt only one time. Mitch hit a good one, 52-yard punt. Um, then we got much underway on the punt return unit. We had a chance, but one time we clipped and uh, Booby tripped on that last one. But but overall, it's a good start. Gave us plenty of things to work on these next uh, nine days for your next opponent. And uh, that's what we'll do. We'll come in and watch the film tomorrow. We'll come in early as coaches, get it graded up, bring the players in the afternoon, uh, correct the, uh, make the corrections. Um, probably give them Saturday, Sunday off, and then come back Monday ready to work on the next game. So that's where we're at. You brought up Darren being as advertised, obviously with him 10 catches today. Was that the plan all along to get him that heavily involved? Uh, well, I don't know if it was the plan to, to get him that heavily involved. He's a great receiver. He runs good routes. He's got a big catch radius. You know, he's, he's, length, he's got length. And you put the ball in the general vicinity, he's going to come away with it. And uh, he's a very polished receiver. And, uh, you know, we didn't go into the game thinking, hey, we're going to get Darren 10 catches for 100 and whatever yards. But, but when you're as talented as he is, and he's going to get open. I mean, he was obviously Tyler's favorite target tonight. Kyle, target. All right. Tyler took a lot of targets and hits today. Um, what do you tell him to kind of knock? Yeah, him? we got to be a little more. Uh, he's this isn't working. He's got to be a little more uh, judicious in, in taking those hits. He's got to die for daylight. Do a better job of hitting those cracks in the defense. And okay. Not taking the. It's still working. Yeah. Yeah. I can't hear it. <laughs> PK ordering me to use it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, where was I? Yeah, Tyler. We got to. He's got to be a little uh, more. Uh, evasive and not take those uh, straight on shots. I mean, he's a tough kid and he's got to do a little better job of getting out of balance when the opportunity's there or like I said, getting down and, and that's, that's a uh, talent you can develop is, is getting down and diving and, and avoiding those direct uh, direct shots from the defense and, and uh, he needs to do that. We need to do a better job of that. Kyle, obviously a lot of room to work on, but what was it like to watch, see the scheme under the lights for the first time? It was good. I think uh, you know we were a little bit... Uh, I don't want to say sluggish or out of sync, but it just wasn't real smooth early on. But as the game went on, I thought things got smoother. Um, like the play calling, I thought the play selection was very good, it was very balanced. But again, that's Troy's deal. But that's his. You know, he's he's a he's a guy that uh, he's going to take what the defense gives him. Our, our old line pushed him around a little bit there in the run game, and uh, you know we had one turnover, which you can live with one turnover a game. That's that's uh, that's not going to be uh, something that's. Problematic, but like I said, the ball was way too loose, uh, way too often. Kyle, did you feel like the early on was it just a matter of guys still getting into the flow of the game, jitters, or was there actual adjustments as you made? Uh, probably the for, the former or the lat, the first thing you said it was it was just more, uh, you know, just getting into the flow of the game, and you know there was no major adjustments during the course of the game. I mean, once you see how they're playing, you adjust your your play calls and, and your run pass ratio and that type of thing, but. But I think it was just more everyone was so hyped up for this first game and, and uh, maybe pressing a little bit those first couple drives. What is Carrington lending into the program been like? 
He's been great. He's, the players have uh, welcomed him with open arms. He's been a great addition to the receiver room in a lot of ways. He brings leadership. You know, he's a senior and uh, or an experienced guy, and and uh, he's been embraced by the whole football team. And and uh, you know, he's still got to you know continue on the path he's on. We're you know we're only one game into this, but but so far he's been uh, everything we hoped he would be. He's got great practice habits, and uh, he's done everything that he's asked off the field that was some of the conditions and the, the things that we had set up for him in order to join the team. Did you come away from this game healthy today? I hope so. You know, we had a couple guys that are going to get some x-rays tomorrow, and, and we'll see. But uh, uh, hopefully, yes. You know, Ray took a pretty good shot there. And, uh, you know, he's a little bit sore in the rib, rib section. But but uh, we'll see tomorrow. We'll, we'll know a lot more tomorrow about the health. You won't, but I will. <laughs> Kyle, what have you got to what have you got to work on and improve for BYU for the BYU game? Well, for the next game, we got to be, like I said, better ball security with the offense. Um, pass protection wasn't as good as it needs to be. We gave up three sacks tonight, so we got to do a better job protecting the quarterback. Uh, defensively, like I said, we got to have more havoc plays, takeaways, and sacks. Uh, special teams, you know, it was kind of tough to gauge tonight. Special teams, we ever wasn't really challenged. Mitch kicked the ball to the end zone virtually every time. Uh, I think we only had the opportunity to return one kickoff, and uh, the punt game we only punted one time, so that was tough to gauge where we are, special teams wise. You played a lot of freshmen, guys like Jalen Johnson, Maxis Tupai. How do you think they looked in their first action? Just from what I saw during the course of the game, pretty good. You know, Max missed a peel blitz, the, the back out of the backfield where he needs to peel with the guy, but but uh, he'll learn from that. Uh, Jalen Johnson played well. Julian Blackman, I thought, played exceptionally well. Dropped an interception in the end zone, or right there on the goal line that uh, that would have knocked out that drive. Uh, I think that's the drive we had the late hit, which set him up for a touchdown. And again, we, we did some real uh, undisciplined things. But uh, uh, Samson Nakua, I think he's going to be a, a big-time player for us this year and be a big contributor. Um, trying to think of the other freshmen that are out there. But, but uh, uh, Peter Tonga. Hawate, Pututau on the defensive line. So, yeah, those young guys, freshmen and sophomores, I think, are, are uh, really going to help us this year. All right. Thanks, guys.